Hello everybody, my name is Anthony. welcome back to Let's Play European Universe House 4 as the Nazareth Dynasty. Last time we took over parts of, uh, well we, we didn't take over parts of Italy, we gave um, our vassal Sicily some more parts of Italy. So now that they're three territories bigger, so that would be a lot nicer. They like us more because we gave them um, that territory. We are going to improve relations because, I mean, when, do we, when can we annex them? Like, three, six years. It's a ten year, how, how do we already have them for four years? That's crazy. Improve relations. We're going to improve relations. Hopefully, by the time we can act, annex them, we um, we have 200 relations with them. And I, I, I see that being very plausible. Oh, the Lodges have suffered from the Peasants' War. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Sadly, you can't call your allies into a Peasants' War. Which would be really useful, because the Peasants' War is absolutely trash. But, I'm trying to remember what my army composition was. Like, I don't remember. I think I had like eight cannons in each army. So there's like one. So eight cannons, all the horses. Probably like I'd imagine. I think it was like ten infantry, right? And you board the ships. It was like twenty-two. I think twenty-one, twenty-two. How many, what is this? 18, 21. I think there's supposed to be four cavalry, and that's where the mistake is, but. Yeah, so you just stay here. Actually, is that our, oh, that's a missionary. We'll go protect him. You know, once again, I think, I think at some point, Italy was a little bit Muslim. And they shall be again. Okay. So we have 11 infantry, so 10, 1, 1, yeah, you're probably going to need to uh, split in half, so 5 cannons, 5 cannons, and we did lose like 3 units, I don't remember what 3 units we lost, but I just remember we lost 3 units, like where are these 3,000, oh yeah, they're across the seas. Actually, yeah, they should be protecting our new territories, which for some reason still haven't been named. I don't know why the names aren't showing up, but what can you do? And I guess we will um, build all the missing units here. 4,000 cavalry, 4,000, 5,000, 10,000. But yet, yeah, I'm still at my... I'm still... I'm actually over my force limit. 80 out of 78. But how? Was I not? Didn't I not have 98 force limit earlier? I almost remember having 98 force limit, but now somehow we're two over, and I don't know how. I didn't build troops, I don't think. So really, I have no idea where that number's coming from. Also, we let's just lower ma military maintenance a little bit. I'm making 30 ducks a month, which is really nice. Let's check and see if we have a level two advisor. We still don't. And that still sucks. And we probably want to start building up our heavy fleet again. So the Pope's a little bit mad at us. Let's check the, uh, the military coalition tab again. Yeah, North Italy, Aquitaine. Really, that the people who would be against us are against us. Makes perfect sense. Everyone else seems to be kind of okay about it. I mean, none of the Muslims care. Makes sense because um, they're, they're the uh, the Muslims. I don't think they get affected by the same stuff. We'll just take the ten percent trade efficiency. How much are we making off trade? We're making like twenty ducats. We're still making about twenty ducats. Which is nice. So, we want to build our heavies again. How much do heavies cost? They're like 50 ducats each, right? Yeah, they're fit. They're expensive. And what we're going to do? The Ragusa fleet. Why do you have one transport? One get? Oh, probably captured ships. Okay. Is that on privateer missions? Actually, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try this. So we're making, we're pulling seven ducats here. If we send privateers to, ah, where is it? Genoa. Will that be giving us more money, or will we be getting less money? Seven point one six. We're not really pulling any more money in. We're pulling a lot less money in, actually. 
So yeah, how about you protect trade? Will that do anything? Or is it because we already have so much of the trade power? No, nah, I don't think that's right. We have half the trade power now. Are we making more? Yeah, we actually are making more money. So Ragusa... How much... How much trade power do we have? We have 6%. I don't think it'll make a big difference. Actually, wow, it actually dropped like a ducket. Which is kind of crazy. But we could just pull a ducket basically straight here. And maybe just pull just one ducket directly into Seville instead of getting it up here. I don't know if that's going to work. Oh, like, look at this. 6.2. Now we're making less money off trade. Yeah. We need to upgrade our trade fleet. Either way, where's the Ragusa fleet? You're here. You're getting disbanded. We're going to be losing a little bit of money on this. But. So, we have room for 40. 44 ships. So. I don't know how many ships we're going to make. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and then basically that again. Oh, now I had any money. Uh, I will take out some loans, actually, to... Uh, Take out two loans because I don't know how much it's going to cost me. Just pull out two loans just to be able to make sure I can build up these, this trade fleet up, and it'll, 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 just, it'll make us money in the long run. And in about a year, we'll have our trade fleet back up, and it'll actually be a better trade fleet than we left with. So. Yeah, here it's time. 1509, the do, the do, models, line of ships. The best kind of ships are going to be getting into the Mediterranean Sea, protecting our trade and trust. We are going to be making a little bit less money off trade now. I see. I see we're not. We're not making any less trade. Even, even losing 27 or 25 trade ships, we're not making any less money. Do you know what's off? Oh no, we're on Bardic Wing. Venice is uh, I can't speak. Venice is embargoing us, which kind of sucks, but they could have they could have penalty for that. Actually, I get a penalty for um embargoing Genoa. I mean, they're embargoing us back, so I mean, it's not that crazy. I would still I would still love to be able to get a third rival, but there is nobody who we can rival. Even though I feel like there should be. So now that there is, you know... Actually, I'm going to fabricate some more claims. Uh, convert. Fabricate claims. This one. And then Tangiers. So we're probably going to attack Mandarin soon. They're, they're at attack level 7. I mean, we have a real marriage, which kind of sucks. We're going to have to end that at some point. They still don't hate us that much. They still don't even care too much that uh, we have a bunch of their core provinces. And a lot of it as an ally is kind of going downhill. Wow, this, these are all really bad choices. We'll, we'll lose the Diplo power. So a lot of it could potentially fall apart here. I mean, not that it's that bad. You know, having less rivals is generally a good thing. And now Italy is, you know, finally embracing the, the true faith. It'd be great if there's like a, a crusade called upon me. You know, that doesn't sound unreasonable. But I, I, I don't really know how crusades work in this game. They work a lot differently than they do in a CKC, which makes sense. Because the game's based off the crusades. But like, as far as I know, only um, countries with the religious ideas can even attack during um, crusades. So it just kind of makes the entire thing worthless. I think it's either that or neighboring nations. It's just, yeah, but it's like this part of the game, other than the Ottomans, there are no neighboring nations of any Muslim countries. 
people are attacking each other. What's new? Do we have? Just give me. You know, I'll hire him just to get that, that one extra point. But I'm kind of disappointed that we do not have um, a better, better admin diplomat. It'd be really nice. Dude, where's our um, base value? People of the book. This used to be at like plus one. Oh, it's probably because our, our legitimacy is not great. Yeah, okay. That's probably why. I mean, they're still positive. We still like them a lot more than we like those Persians. They're believing in the wrong things. But, very, very soon we should uh, get this stuff up. And actually, we might actually just want to disband the uh, Genoa fleet. Actually, we don't. Not yet. We will as soon as we get this this fleet out of the uh, docks. Which should be now. Did our air die? No. Who died? Somebody died. So is it control or is it alt in this game? It's control. So everybody goes here except for um, the 19 stack. You stay in Barcelona. So everybody goes here. Byzantium. Ah, okay, well, Byzantium's growing a little bit. Ireland's getting pushed back into actual Ireland, which is crazy. So we have 46 ships here. They all trade ships? They are. Protect trade in Genoa. So we're pulling five ducats out. We're getting eight in. This should go up to 21.5. Nice. So 46, that is 23, that's 23 extra, uh, uh, extra trade power that we're getting from just these ships alone. So now that, um, you ships are obsolete, we're going to go over here, we're going to disband you. Now it's 36 ships. Oh wait, we had, we had the extra supply limit, or extra force limit because of our heavy ships that we don't have anymore. That's fine, okay, we'll get, um, more ships eventually at the end of the colonial ideas so we're getting 36 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 9 how many 20 my well, 20 is good enough for now I don't feel like taking out another loan so not going to did they change this field trade node I don't think they have, but it just kind of feels like they have because I don't. I thought Portugal was in um. I don't know where I thought Portugal was. Either way, it's it's fine. It doesn't matter too much. Also, yeah, we want to get up our frontline armies to where they should actually be. Even though we are ahead of on the force limit, how much is the extra force limit costing us? It's only two extra units. Yeah, it's still costing us 1.2 ducats. Or 1.5 ducats. Which is a little bit insane to me, but... I guess we'll get rid of one cavalry on each army. And then we'll be back at our forest limit. Unless we were getting a modifier on our provinces that, um... Oh, wait, it's because... Oh, no. Did we have a level... If we had a guy that increased our force limit, I'm not too sure. How long until we get to Aventech 5? Like, nine years would be a good guess. But what do I want to get? I definitely want to get a military idea. Naval idea sounds nice, but I think we're going to go want more lands based. Maybe quality or quantity. Manpower, man cover, recovery speed. Regiment cost goes down. What else we got here? Right, maintenance goes down. F naval force limits go up. What is? What do? Infant I guess it doesn't even increase infantry force limits, which is odd. So in that case, I think actually offensive is good because it gives you the uh, force march, which is really useful, and also just a plus one. You, you'll instantly get a one-one general no matter what, and if you get uh, aristocratic ideas later, you'll get a two-one general just off the bat, which is really nice. Yeah. 
Local nobility sucks, by the way. It, it, it's absolutely the worst thing ever. Didn't some of these other provinces around here have it? And that's why it was really hard to core them? Is Genoa attack- why is Genoa attacking you? Wait, how are you- how are you attacking Tunis? It's the capital and- Uh, Genoa- I don't know if you know this, Africa is my territory. It's- it's uh- It's not yours, I call dibs. Okay. I guess we're just gonna have to go to war with Genoa some more. Oh, did England... No, they're still at war with England, because England hasn't gotten over there yet. Unsurprisingly. This would be a nice time to attack the Hats, they have no allies. I don't think there's any, um... I'm, I'm, I, I doubt there's any countries to form. Oh, we can actually just form Tunisia. Oh, but Tunisia's only got, like, three provinces. Hmm. Yeah, we might actually attack, um, the Hasvids. Seven, mil seven military attack. They're pretty weak. How long do our till our, um, cores expire? Uh, a few years. Protect trade in... Genoa? Like, we have 76% tra power here. 47. We're getting a majority of the money out of the trade node. Maybe we should protect, get more money out of Ragusa. Maybe try that again. Wait, who's number one? I don't even seen that flag before. Who's Poston? I've never even heard of those guys. Oh, a lot of the end of the peasant war. That was actually surprisingly quick. I did cost minus ten percent. Awesome. Yes, we'll get this. Should we get the... No, I want the admin tech. We're going to need it for coring. But that... I would guess they just another world with Genoa. Once Genoa realized, hey, we can't take the capital. Because that's how the game works. So, Paulson is near... Um, It's here. How do you have the most trade power in Genoa... Ragusa? Can you explain to me how that makes any amount of sense? Because, uh, it, it makes zero sense to me, so... Yeah, we're, 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 doing, we're doing pretty well on, um, how much money we're making. Has fids. We can declare war. Lots of, why would the Lodge just not doing anything we had? Oh, truce. Okay, that makes sense, but... Hmm. I kind of don't remember where... Ah, uh, when, when I was supposed to stop this episode. And I'm really bad at keeping track of time. Hey, Aquaplane, I didn't know- How can I help but notice that you swallowed all of Brittany? Yeah. Who's the, who's the warmonger now? I mean, yeah, I have claims on the entire cells part of France. Almost all of North Africa. And a little bit of Italy that I'll soon be able to annex. But, you know. Actually, these armies are really nice and small. So they're actually going to be really nice to send over to Africa for a war. We might not even need two armies. Just attach a transport. We might actually just declare the war now. Uh, military, armies, Hasfids. They're probably not very strong. I, can't, I couldn't imagine them being... They have 7,000 men, 2,000 manpower. Just declare the war. What? Like I said, I want to take the coast, so we'll probably take Beja. Yeah, I know I have low maintenance. I'm gonna, you know, just increase that. We're making 18 ducats again, which is really nice. Those heavies! Oh, no, not, not, no, you protect the trade in Genoa. Don't let Genoa have all the trade power. You go here. Those, those heavies really cost a lot of money. Like, they really cost a lot of money. Tech cost minus 5% is actually really nice. An extra colonist very soon is also going to be pretty wonderful. 
How close are these to be being done? A few more years. Ooh, the Protestant Reformation. It started in two places at once. I guess they're both tight rolls, though, so. I'm, I'm, there's, like, no Reformation thing that happens to, like, Sunnis or anything. So, we don't have to worry about that too much. But, you know, Europe's already pretty divided. So, it's basically going to completely... Like, Europe's going to fall apart, basically, I think. You have no leader. Where are our leaders? We don't have any leaders. All our leaders are dead. Okay. Sh Is there a difference between Conquistor and a general? Is there one reason to not hire one over the other? I don't know. We'll have a 2-2. Two -two. We'll send one more army over. And once again, this, this aggressive expansion does not count for... um. It does not count towards the other European powers because it's in it's in Africa and it's a different religious group. Oh, actually, I'm surprised we caught that army. Oh my god, trader! Oh, actually, I might want trade ideas because trade ideas will give me more merchants. And trade is always nice. You know, I'll, I'll always spend these ammo points to decrease our inflation a bit. And I would still love a level two guy here, but that's never going to happen, I think. You're just gonna be one two army just completely destroy that. And maybe we'll be able to increase our uh, manpower limit. Oh, who is this? Who's doing a little bit of colonization? Very, very, very good. I, I like seeing this other colonization. Having some competition is good. I don't think anybody else is on a. Uh... Really, it's just. Like, there's not a lot of guys that could. You know, compete with us. In eight years, we'll be able to get our, our third idea group. We're gonna be get. There's a lot of new stuff coming in the next, next tech level. And you know, because I have no idea how long this episode's been going on for, and I don't trust myself with time and not making this video way too long. I am gonna end it here. So thanks everyone for watching. My name is If you have enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. If you did not enjoy, you can always thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe. 